Nothing has gone great and there is no need of becoming happy that the situation has turned from worst to fair and the impact of WannaCry ransomware has been down it included to two of the exploits from 7 while a do had kill switch and through lots of research the patches and the solution was found out while eternal rocks is a different type of virus ransomware which includes 7 out of 7 exploits and do not act as WannaCry virus while the effect such as first it enters and asks for permission and portfolios and shows effect after a day by asking permissions such that antivirus cannot come in contact of it while downloads torrent which can maintain privacy and affecting on Windows SMB file more detailed information is provided as follows malicious actors have created a new strain of malware that targets the same vulnerability as the one at crypt ransomware from last week eternal rocks as it's called uses the same flaw in Microsoft's server message block FMB networking protocol to infect other Windows systems that haven't yet been patched however the new entry may be far deadlier than its predecessor according to early expert analysis Eternal Rocks use in seven hacking tools leaked from the NSA database earlier this year where WannaCrypt had just two in addition it's also been built without the kill switch present in the former thankfully while Eternal Rocks is currently infecting computers it doesn't yet carry a malware payload. That basically means it's turning every computer it infects into a virus carrier, without showing any symptoms Eternal Rocks is the difficult second album from the community that gave us WannaCry commented Matt Walms the EMEA director Vector Networks to the register Ritz Darker more refined but targeting the same audience and more of their favorite NSA shadow broker exploits all in the hope that many people failed to patch after the WannaCry crisis left undetected the Eternal Rocks worm can rapidly propagate across the internet and private networks by using the SMB be file sharing protocol infecting unpatched systems quickly and without relying on duped users clicking on phishing email links although it's not ransomware but you must be safe from it stay updated and take measures to avoid it watch my previous video about WannaCry ransomware thanks for watching video hope you subscribe my channel stay tuned